What if I will tell you that yes, there is a open source alternate tool like Bruno, which is now available for API testing. And trust me, it is one of the lightweight API testing tool that I have seen. I've been using Postman for more than four or five years around. Probably I was the first one who was using Postman, right? But nowadays Postman is very slow. There are so many things Postman had added, right? I mean, which are not required as an API tester if we, if I wanted to do, right? So in this video, we are going to discuss about a Bruno, an open source IDE for API testing, a lighter version than the Postman, how it is helpful, what are the feature it has, Postman versus Bruno, we are going to compare all of them one by one. And I'm going to show you how you can run Bruno on Jenkins or by using their CLI, what are the different commands and one of the important problem they have solved, whatever the version control that you are using, right? You can use default version control, which is Git, right? You can use any version control. You don't have to rely on the Postman version control. All right. So let's get started. What exactly is this Bruno? All right. So guys, this is the official website of Bruno. Bruno is reinventing the API client. And of course it is an open source. It is fast. It is grid, fr grid friendly API client, right? If you don't know what is Git friendly, right? Whenever you create a Postman collection, those are not very much Git friendly, which means whenever you upgrade something, whenever you add something, right? If you want to do merging and all, right? It is very difficult with that, with the, uh, with the Postman collections, but Bruno, I have used it and I have pushed it also into GitHub. Amazing, simple. It is like a JSON which we are basically adding and deleting. Okay. Again, it stores the collection in your local file system, right? And plain markup language called brew to solve the API request, right? So it is again, an amazing tool where I have it, right? So couple of problem with the Postman. Postman nowadays, if you agree with me, right? Let me know it is heavy, not good, not good for API testing. I don't know why, but nowadays I don't believe that Postman, they have added so many features into the Postman, right? Now they have added uh, mock servers. They have added hundreds of other things like API for API development, documentations, uh, proxy servers, monitors and everything, which couple of features as an API tester, we don't need. So what exactly is happening is even though I have a 16 GB of RAM, right? My Postman stuck many, many times. It is heavy. If I want to use IntelliJ with Postman, my Postman struggles to load. Sometimes I have seen it hundred times. So that's what it is not much grid friendly. Now Bruno, which is fast and grid friendly store the collection in local system, right? The only disadvantage with Bruno is that you are not storing anything on cloud. You're storing everything into your a local file system and whatever the collections that you have, you can store them into your GitHub account, which is nothing but a version control accounts in this case. Okay. So feature wise, if you see right, a uh, plain mic-up language, uh, you can use Git for version control. It is offline only. There is no cloud sync up, right? Like Postman, there is no cloud sync up directly offline. You can use it. If you compare the uh, Bruno versus uh, uh, Bruno versus Postman, they have written a specific article on it. Uh, so which I will now share. Okay. So first of all, how you can download, by the way, if you just click on download button, they, you can directly download. And this is how the Bruno looks like simple UI. I think this is to the point as an API tester. If you agree with this point, give me a like on this chat. It is a simple, simple, very simple UI. Create a collection. I have already created a collection. You can do a Git. Uh, for example, this is what the request is. Enter the URL, same kind of very similar to Postman's. Uh, what type of STPP method you want to do, which type of body. You can send body in different multi-part for and everything headers. You can add authentication. If you want to add all the other authentication supported variables, this is where it is different. This is prescript. You can write JavaScript, pure JavaScript code, no proprietary code or note the codes related to PM, DM dot PM dot no, nothing yet. Pure JavaScript code to test it out. Assertions, direct assertions. You can directly add 200 is number, not ID super simple within like few seconds i was able to do it and click on save and you will see the results also for example see this is what exactly which is making the request this request is not going to postman servers proxy okay so this is what you need to believe postman basically stores some of the data or it goes through the proxy servers of postman right now nothing is there you can directly use without any problems i've been using this and i'm getting i mean i really love it directly you can also import export you can export this into a uh, what we call bruno collection okay you can po even the postman collection also you can export if you want to now another important thing is which i think directly which is there is cli you can have dot environment you can get started with variables uh, there are multiple features. You can write pure JavaScript code to parse the items to basically this looks like a karate 
karate javascript code right with directly you can basically mention and check all the json response that you directly have right directly with that easy peasy external libraries inbuilt libraries all the important node js libraries related to json schema validator node fetch atop moment load js right all these required for verifying the date mechanism right and other things they are supported right almost everything it is supported again it's an open source of so free of course nothing fancy external libraries if you see right uh, directly you can use it as a normal javascript code amazing to amazing thing pure javascript code javascript reference also you can get directly get it i have tried couple of code works very simply in this case okay so getting started with assertions also you can add other assertions and they have given you more documentation in this case but what about the cli option right how do we run cli pramod right cli option is also supported for example here <coughs> difference between bruno and the postman if you see how collection are saved in a imagine uh, because uh, postman use proprietary centralized version system to store your data where bruno doesn't it basically uses normal github right there are requests which are made there are team collaboration of course bruno is free of course directly you can use it node modules are see simple declarative options couple of extra features they have added of course you can download the desktop here another important thing you can also run on cli i think i have run it somewhere let me show you simple uli simple simple option go to downloads okay one second i have just uh, copy pasted somewhere right where i have saved go to settings for example first of all you need to install the bruno by using the cli option of this directly you can install an npm install bruno cli after you have installed just run the brew or your cooking.brew basic which is nothing but your brew collection that you have created directly it will run pass and fail simple so simple so elegant right <laughs> so i have used it simple body collection normal collection i have used test cases assertions also i have added three assertions booking id should be equal to one number and everything right other things we have added and that's what so cli option directly you can run of course uh, the question is can we run through the jenkins also yes you can you can run if you want to watch there is a video uh, just uh, find it on youtube you can run via jenkins also the bruno collection so i think it is helpful for uh, as an api tester i would highly recommend to you if you want to try out a lighter version of api testing tool give it a try to bruno also let me know which one nowadays i am using bruno uh, for most of my api testing normal work that i generally do even for execution purpose as well as writing the basic assertions as json schema validations and normal assertions related to status code and body right so which one i i generally prefer it because the important thing is if you use i can push my code into my github and i don't have to use their proprietary uh, postman because there is very difficult to push the code and everything right so i can direct here in this case it is normal brew request it is just a normal request that you can basically push and pull see you can see this is the body they have this is the header they have this is how they are storing the data information right it is it has is is own syntax you can create the syntax also right i hope the video was helpful this is all about bruno do let me know link in the description give me a like if you really like this uh, api testing tool what's your thought from this uh, are you going to use this after the postman or not do let me know in the comments also all right thanks a lot bye bye i'll see you